Welcome to another presentation uh, brought to you by connectvk.com.au Alright, so uh, Pro Audio Gear, how to apply it, how to connect it, how to uh, get that voice to sound as sexy as possible. Well, I don't think that's the primarily purpose of the uh, of the Pro Audio setup, but okay, alright, I can leave with that. Alright, so um, you, you, you're sick and tired of sounding plain, boring, um, and you only ever have played with uh, with your stock standard uh, uh, rig microphone or maybe um, a headset that you plugged straight into your rig and the only setup that you have done was the tweaking that was uh, available to, uh, within the radio so and maybe you're like me that you have been uh, influenced by some people around you to perhaps uh, start experimenting with the audio and you thought, why not? Why not? Uh, let's go and spend uh, some money on more um, radio gear. Well, not necessarily radio gear, audio processing gear, but for the purposes, for the greater benefit of the um, uh, transmit quality audio out of the shack. And yes, I need to acknowledge the two friends that have uh, twisted my arm so hard that I went and spent some money next day thank you guys alrighty so you decided you're gonna get yourself a condenser microphone and you wanna sound really good on, on air well that's a step number one so you will need to um, um, find a semi decent microphone that's uh, gonna sound good and it's gonna suit your voice do some research there that's my advice um, Condenser microphones don't necessarily need to be um, very expensive. Well, uh, to start off, uh, they will range from $100 to several thousand dollars. All right, but that's uh, not the point. Again, we are sensible with the, with money, and uh, at the end of the day, we are um, amateur radio operators. And um, what's the saying that's uh, describing us? Um, short arms and deep pockets or something like that anyway so get yourself a, a condenser mic that suits you and within your budget of course i'm not responsible for the uh, um, crazy shopping sprees just warning you there and uh, the next thing is uh, what are you going to do with it so you're going to have to plug it into a mic preamp because you need 48 volts phantom power in order to get that microphone work, uh, component will be the mic preamp. And then you got the microphone finally functioning. So you plug the microphone into the mic preamp, you press the 48 volt button and you got the signal. But the problem is that um, what we need to understand here, and uh, you can see it on the left hand side of the screen there, there's two very uh, different um, terms in, 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 in audio world and that is um, a mic level versus the line level. All Pro Audio Gear is by default manufactured at 4 dBU output and that is a line level. So that's a standard 4 dBU plus. And uh, mic input level or mic level uh, would be normally between minus 40 to minus 60 uh, dBU. So that is a, a bit of a difference there. Um, and that's what you need to bring your um, output from your external audio processing gear in order to be able to plug it into your radio. Well, you can plug it at plus four dBU, but uh, that's not gonna sound very good. That's gonna be very uh, loud, distorted, and um, I don't know, it will be clipping on, on, a, on a smallest, uh, um, vibration of the microphone so uh, it's that wouldn't be fun and um, I've tried it and I think that you can actually damage your rig um, if you're gonna especially if you're gonna go to the front again regardless of what you're gonna do after that if you're gonna use you know five or, or ten components in, in a chain uh, the output is going to be exactly the same which is going to be 4 dBU and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because you are you're gonna need a interface that's going to bring the level down to minus 40 dB or to the mic level. I need to mention uh, my dear friend Onda, um, VK3 Alpha Mary Papa, 
who has been kind enough to design this um, PCB for me um, in order to put this audio interface together. So the credit goes to him, done it, I've just put it together. So what the audio interface box does is it converts the pro audio level, line level of 4 dBU output to a microphone level at minus 40 dBU. And that is what is acceptable to be used um, at the front end of the rig. And you w won't have any problems. And in effect, that's what I'm using right now. So I'm hoping that that says cleared up that um, saga around the two different uh, line levels, um, being a, a mic line and a, and a line level, and that you don't understand the difference of uh, 4 dBU output versus the minus 40 uh, dBU input at the at the front end of the of the radio. All right. And I'm not going to drag it any, any, any longer, but I just wanted to show you the difference. The difference of um, what you can get with a, with a very simple setup. Now, again, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the beginning. This is very subject, subjective and there is no right or wrong. But um, this is what I have achieved so far. And you'll be the judge. In order to hear the difference in audio, you would need to uh, use the headphones. You won't be able to hear it on your tablet or um, or, or, or on your mobile phone. So uh, if you are willing to hear the, the difference in the, in sound as I switch on all the components, uh, please use the headphones. Alrighty, so this is my plain microphone that's uh, plugged into the microphone preamp. Uh, no effects uh, whatsoever, just 48 volts phantom power and the microphone is a Rode um, NT1A, November Tango 1 Alpha. The next uh, component is um, a soft compression uh, and a gate. Here we go. One, two, three. All right, so uh, that has um, um, boosted up a signal, leveled, up, leveled it up a bit and there is a bit of a gate there. There is no more uh, background noises. One, one, yeah, as you can see, it cuts off pretty quick, which is what you want, uh, unless you want uh, people to hear your noisy fans and, and everything else in the background. The next component is uh, is one of my favorites, and it's called the uh, uh, Sonic Sonic Exciter. So here it is, three, two, one. Alrighty, so um, this uh, uh, device... Uh, uh, messes around with harmonics and uh, yeah, it makes you sound really deep but that's really muffly and uh, nowhere near good enough um, as an as a end product. The next component in line is um, the effects processor so all I have there is uh, is just a bit of hole um, sorry a bit of reverb and here it is now so you can only hear it just a little bit and I'll just check the settings there. So it's uh, sitting on number five out of 100 in terms of the reverb. So it's 5%, um, not much, because you don't want people to focus on your on your reverb, um, on the echo in the voice. Okay, and the very last, or sorry, second to last component is the EQ. And uh, here it is now. Okay, so that's the, that's the, the voice and the that's the overall product that I have developed so far. After this, I've got high compression, uh, which I'm not gonna turn on now because it's actually not plugged in, but um, that's just the way, the way it is. And um, uh, the voice that I have uh, uh, made up so far playing with the, my audio setup. That will take us to the end of this presentation and uh, I would like to thank you for your attention. I hope that you have enjoyed it. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please uh, do let me know. I do, uh, I am trying to improve this, uh, the sound quality. And uh, um, yeah, would like to hear from you. All right, all the very best, 73s and bye-bye.